Hi everybody, it's Janice. Um, I am here to <clears throat> officially tell you all that I am on this mixed media bandwagon. Yep, I totally am. Um, I don't know if you remember the telephone um, story that I told from my childhood. <clears throat> my grandmother gave me a phone that she wasn't using anymore. It was one of those rotary phones and she had switched over to the dial ones and so she gave me this phone so I could play and I think I was probably four or something like that and I had gotten a paint set and I would just paint all over this thing and make patterns and textures and all of this with diff I had gotten one of those art sets with watercolors and tempera paints and acrylic paints and you know what I mean with the pencils and all of that well it was like one of the best per Christmas gifts I'd ever gotten and so it all goes back to then because that's really what I love to do. I love making textures. I love playing with different media and mixing them together. And so um, now I'm just going to have to figure out or not figure out, but just apply it to scrapbooking. I did apply it to card making today. Um, so I'm going to just show you what I've been up to because I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos and it's just because school is so busy right now as everybody is um, finishing up school. We're in our last four weeks and there's so much to do. And um, But I still need to create because it's just my, as all of you understand, it's, it's an outlet for me. I'd rather do this than anything else. Um, I'm going to show you the progression. This was the first thing that I did, and I'm doing them on cardboard boxes, or what do you call them? Actually, this one looks like, I can't even remember what I, this was probably mixed media art paper. But um, I was watching, I was inspired by Christy Tomlinson. She's really the one that kind of, watching her inspired me into just saying I just I just want to play and I want to do this and so I've been using my distress paints um, my sprays I have a lot of the Jenny Bo not Jenny Bolin um, Heidi Swap color shine um, then I started getting into these Faber Castell um, pit artist pen big brushes so I had bought a white one so I could go around and then I started getting into gelatos and so I started playing with gelatos and stamping and um, here I have some some tissue paper here I have mud puddles um, and so I decided to make this into my school it kind of looks like that oh, OCA and there's their logo <laughs> I mean, not the school logo, the United Global Outreach logo, which is not at all right. But anyway, <clears throat> it's supposed to be an earth looking thing. And then the sun. And then I also started playing with hot glue and applying hot glue. So this was my very first attempt, um, you know, adding texture with just found things that I have around my house. So that was the first thing. Then my second piece of work was this one that I absolutely really 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 love and this one really is on paper from or cardboard from cereal boxes and that's what I've been using just uh, cut up cardboard boxes and then this was paper that I got from a music an old not an actual hymnal but like a it was on copy paper so I cut paper flowers from the flower shop cartridge and then these are ladybugs from the stamps of life and I added modeling paste because I had gone ahead and bought modeling paste and I sprayed them with color shine I don't know if you can see and more hot glue um, and lots of gelatos and just lots and lots of layers I love it okay and then my third one was this Ocean, and these are all stamps from Stampin' Up. They're old Stampin' Up stamps that I got from Robin, a friend of hers, or actually her son's teacher used to sell Stampin' Up, and she knew that I would use them, so she gave them to me. And I also used that Dimensional Magic, Mod Podge, Dimensional 
Magic, I think is what it's called, this stuff. I love this, Dimensional Magic. I coated all of the stamps, and then I cut this out of my Life's a Beach cartridge. Because I'm still the Cricutologist. I mean, you can see clearly that both of these still use the Cricut for the flowers, for the seahorse. Um, the bubbles are hot glue. Um, I also added texture using microbeads. You know, those. I'm trying to see if I have them handy where I could show you those little beads. I mixed them with. This matte medium, multi medium in matte. You can also buy, I think, matte medium in the art department. I'm not sure if Liquitex or Golden sells it. This is what the modeling paste looks like. Okay, but this is a glue as well as a sealer. So I mixed the little microbeads with this, and then I just used a little palette knife and I smoothed it all over our little guy here and I let it dry probably for like a whole day and this is three layers of this cut I cut all of the layers three times to make them nice and thick and dimensional because that's what I like is dimension and I used a mask to make these swirlies which you probably can't see now maybe you can I used modeling paste for that and just went over it with gelatos and stamped randomly. Okay, and then yesterday I made this one. <clears throat> and this is again, this is cereal box. And I started out by adding tissue paper. I got tissue paper from just gift wrapping tissue paper and I stamped all over it with these stampers anonymous stamps that were on clearance at Michael's I, I got like four sets I got this one too that has the butterfly and they were like $5.99 with my coupon so they were on clearance I don't know why I got the discount but anyway I didn't realize it till after I left so um, I just stamped all over with archival ink. It has to be archival because you want everything you do needs to be permanent. Otherwise, it just gets muddy. And that's really what happened with this first one is a lot of this stuff was not permanent. So every time I would add a layer, it would get muddy and just, yeah. I mean, it's nice, but... I'm learning. I'm definitely still learning. So I took, also I bought fiber paste. This one's by Golden. And it looks like paper pulp. Um, and this is what it looks like. I put it on my craft sheet and I let it dry and I peeled it and that's what it looks like. This literally fiber paste. I love it though because I took a stencil or a yeah a stencil and I made this texture in the background and then on the bottom I took my matte medium this stuff and I adhered the paper which you can still see through here in some places and then once all oh and then I took the, the fiber paste and I just scraped it all along here not sure if you can see. You probably can there. I just love this. And here's more. It's thicker right here. And then once I had that background, I didn't know what I wanted to add to it. So I had some flowers left over from what I was making for Mother's Day. And I just decided to go ahead and add them. And these were all pattern paper. You can still see the pattern paper on this one. But I covered them with gesso. Completely covered them. And so then I took my gelatos and scribbled and took my water brush and just spread that color. And I added a bling in the middle but I, and a button, but I, again, I, I, I went over all of that with gesso. Once the flowers were in place, I just thought, wow, they just look like flowers floating in the middle of the sky. <laughs> so I added with 
glue. This is all hot glue. I just started creating stems and little buds and things like that with my hot glue. And then I went over that with gesso so that the gesso just allows the medium to be accepted and to become permanent. So I went over it with my pit artist pens and, and greens and things like that and then I went in with my distress paint. This is the chip sapphire. I wanted to kind of give it dimension so I went into the background um, and I just continued doing that and I added some white to the peaks to give it a little bit of dimension also. And then with another stencil that has words, I just went and I used modeling paste to add wish, wish, wish in my, my uh, triangle fashion. And then I went in and colored the words. I really wanted one of them to stand out, so I brought out that yellowy orange. And then I used my cloud stencil that's from Julie Fay and Balser, and I used gesso for those, and then I just continued to outline them in different colors. Um, this one is really good, this cold gray. Um, Donna Downey said this is a really good one to have, and I just kind of went around everything that I wanted to really pop, and then I used the... Um, Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Butterfly and stamped it randomly and then I went over it with crackle accents just to make it stand out and then last I masked all of this off with tissue and I sprayed it with per Perfect Pearl Mist to kind of give it that iridescent look and I really love the way it turned out and this is just a lot of fun so thanks for watching and um, like I said I mean some of my favorites I'm gonna go ahead and leave links at the bottom but um, Christy Tomlinson and Donna Downey and um, and there's others that I've been watching and learning from I just can't remember their names um, I even watched one by Sherry Car Sherry Carroll um, from Hero Arts she did a great video this morning. I watched that one. So anyway, that's it. That's what I'm up to. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope I can make more for you. Thanks for watching.